Think of Hero as a, a nonlinear editor that has the power of Nuke as the back end, but has the ability to um, customize it in ways that its competition don't have. The first reaction we had when we saw Hero was finally, we have a review tool completely collaborative with Nuke. A lead of a project can come in, set up Hero, have a timeline, bring in the ADL from the, from the editor, and set up all the shots in Nuke with all the scripts automatically. That's a very big time, uh, time saver. So much of an editorial process, a review process, can be automated, but you need a way of doing that. It's kind of like a whole package for your entire facility, all starting with one bit of kit. Just the, the power of Hero from a job management point of view is fantastic. Um, the, the thing that I really enjoy of it is that it gives us a platform for every artist to have access to the edit. The real strength of Hero is its ability to act as a hub for uh, the entire post-production team. Together with Hero Player, it essentially allows anybody to be able to view their shot within the context of the edit or an arbitrary sequence. For us, Hero is a, is a brilliant conforming tool where we can actually see those plates, make sure they line up with the offline, and do it in a quick manner. And we want to do it as quick as those versions are finished and rendered off the farm. Hero, to me, although you could say it's a nonlinear editor or a conform tool, to me, I consider it the timeline front end to Nuke. That's the most important thing, is Nuke is really the power. I needed that timeline to edit and to work with audio to unlock the power of Nuke in a common workflow Having it all tied in with our new compositing and being able to up and down renders rapidly is, is fun. It's great, really, really great. It's been quite flawless from, from visual effects supervising on set until the final delivery, really. And it really pushed the speed of all our productions. Hero is a critical tool to help us meet and exceed the client's expectation in terms of conforming and play preparation. But we've customized Hero in a way that allows us to build tools for our coordinators to do typical editorial workflow tasks. All these host of tools, it really simplifies it for them. With Hero, we wanted to uh, take on board the same open standards that we have done with all of our other products uh, here at the Foundry. So for example, we use OpenEXR for multi-channel image import, OpenColor.io for all of our handling of color management down our pipeline so you can be sure of getting exactly the same image out that you will do inside of Nuke. So the EDL comes to us, it has entries that already have the open color I.O. information in it. So we found a way to basically inject that information back into Shotgun. As an artist starts working on a shot, they can pull their plates, but now they're also pu pulling their open color I.O. transforms into their shots as they go. Nuke just makes sense from beginning to end, and Hero is even easier. 